All right, guys, we are fucking here. Chapter 503, <clears throat> the last side beheld. Um, so once again, this is like one of those chapters. Well, I've never really read uh, spoilers for fairy tale because, you know, I don't like to spoil myself. But yeah, I especially tried to stay away from like my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff like that. So I wouldn't know what was going to happen this chapter. But still, I am assuming that END is going to fucking awaken this chapter, and I am fucking excited for that. It's been a long time coming. I really hope it happens. You know, this is all assumptions, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption it's gonna happen this chapter. Um, but yeah, let's fucking end is fucking here, man. Let's fucking see. Um, what is all this? When did I... Magic Ceiling Stone? Ishgal actually has some rather convenient tools, wouldn't you say? Not long ago, I was done in by them as well. I, I feel like my girl Damaria is literally in the worst fucking... Uh, she's in the wrong place at the wrong time, seriously. Like, I fucking respect everything that she's doing right now. Like, the fact that she captured Natsu and Lucy. Like, I fucking respect that, but like... She's literally about to be one-shotted by END, which sucks, dude. If I were her, I would get my ass out of there. Like, out of the fucking vici the the vicinity, and I would fucking leave um, the continent of Ishgar, like, in itself. I would just fucking leave this fucking continent right now, because she is about to get fucked up. Um, restrained, tied up, and looking pitiful with no means of escape. Pretty much how you are now. You, uh, how could you do that to Brandish? Uh, me? No, no, you were the one who broke her. And no matter how much you beg and plead, I will have you pay for it. Uh, teleportation? Oh, shit. Alright, I was like, when, when did she have teleportation powers? But then I was like, oh yeah, it's just like her time abilities, I guess. Uh, what's the big idea, you pervert? Give it back. Um, <clears throat> oh, don't worry, I'll strip down this guy too, and then you'll be in the same boat. <clears throat> Although, the little punk's not moving at all, is he? Don't tell me he's already dead. Um, goddamn, dude, like, I fucking love that, like, I said in my last reaction that, like, Demaria is, like, off her rocker, like, she is fucking crazy right now, and I fucking love that, dude. Um, <clears throat> what big, beautiful eyes you have. I wonder, are all Ishgalians born with them? Uh, just looking at them really pisses me off. I suppose gouging them out would be a good place to start, don't you think? Dude, she is such a fucking savage. Um, that's the best expression you can manage. Some tears and screaming and terror would be nice. It would be really, it would really help to set the mood. <clears throat> I'd much rather lose my eyes rather uh, than entertain your twisted fetishes, you scum. Even if I can't see everyone's smiling faces, I'll always remember each and every one of them. The side of our guild, the streets of Magnolia with all the shops and houses, all the stains and books I've read, I'll remember them all. If you're really going to do it, then get it on already. Don't think for a second that I'm scared of the likes of you. Damn, Lucy, okay. I mean, she should be fucking scared, but... I definitely like, it's like, just seeing how much Lucy has grown. Like, for sure, the old fucking Lucy, man, like, Phantom Lore Lucy would be fucking shitting her pants right now. Um, you rebellious little bitch, I'm gonna take that pretty face of yours and take my time covering it in scars. Uh, Natsu. The hell happened? No way. No fucking way. No, did she actually do that? Holy, f no fucking way. I also don't see the Maria, so I'm kind of concerned. Oh, okay, she's fine. Like, I saw, I saw, like, the dark, like, the shadow over her eyes, and then I saw blood. I was like, Hero did not just fucking make this character blind. But damn. And Demaria is nowhere to be found, so that is not a good fucking thing. Uh, what just splattered blood? 
my restraints, my restraints have been undone. And the chair I was tied to had, uh, was shattered to pieces? What happened to her? And what about Natsu? Whoa! Dude, look at Demaria. I'm so I'm just trying to like, I'm like in awe right now. Like this is fucking, dude. She looks terrified. Monster. Oh no. <laughs> Natsu, where's Natsu? It's a monster. Holy crap, dude. So she fucking saw it firsthand. Um, it couldn't be. Did Natsu, that he could move freely within my time? Um, I've never seen anything like it. You're telling me his power e surpasses even the gods. Something capable of those feats, it could only be. So she knows about end, okay. Um, Lucy, dude, Demaria, you need to fucking get out of there now. Um, everyone needs to get out of there. Like, I don't know why everyone thinks this is, like, a gathering spot. Like, you guys need to run. Um, I'm also, like, really intrigued to see if Natsu is going to be, like, as we've always had that debate, is he going to be, like, actually evil? Or is he still going to be in that mindset to protect his friends? Because my ideal, like, picture of END is that he's just, like, like a different entity of Natsu and is going to like completely attack anyone he fucking sees. But if I were to guess, I would think Mashima would have END just like fuck up Demaria and maybe brandish and like still protect Lucy, you know what I mean? So he's still kind of like a Natsu state of mind maybe. But I'm hoping for the other end that maybe he's like, he's not Natsu at all and just completely fucks up everybody. I know that probably won't happen, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Lucy, happy. Natsu isn't with you? Poliushka. Randy. I'm also glad that um, Demaria isn't dead because, like I've said before, she's my favorite uh, character that was introduced in this arc, so I'm glad she isn't dead. Um, you're still alive. What a relief. More importantly, you must bind Mari with those restraints immediately while you still can. Uh, Mari could stop time, so dealing with her attacks would be quite troublesome. Just what exactly happened here? Your guess is as good as mine. I was captured together with Natsu, but when I came to my senses, that woman was barely conscious, mumbling to herself, and was nowhere to be found. Do you recall the tumor which Natsu had? Uh, I was under the impression that it was anti ether nano, uh, which developed for overexerting his magic power. Uh, however, it turns out it was something entirely different. Uh, in response to this girl returning the tumor to its former size, it's likely that his body suffered an attack. Uh, perhaps it would be more accurate to say it has awakened. Uh, a sinister demonic power. Yet, why is Happy like questioning if it's END or not? Like, he knows it's fucking END. Come on. Um, I have to go search for Natsu. Looking like that. <laughs> Pervs. <laughs> Um, oh my god, dude. Uh, Zeref. Where is Zeref? Uh, there he is. Dude, and there's fucking Gray. Um, Natsu. Gray. Huh. He doesn't even really look that different. Um... Their two fates, while being strung along by Zeref, will now violently and tragically clash. To be continued in chapter 504, Rift. Huh. He honestly doesn't look like... <clears throat> I'm hoping it's just like the fire that's kind of covering him up, but like... I was really expecting like... Just an appearance change, like not even his hair looks different. Um, yeah, so I mean, I guess just in that aspect, that was a little disappointing, but besides that, that was a pretty fucking hype chapter. Um, fucking END is here, dude, and like, I never thought I would live to see the day, but nah, in all seriousness, I don't think I've ever asked this question, like, in any of my videos, but do you guys actually think this is like, 
the last arc because it definitely kind of feels that way because we have, you know, all our big players, Acnologia and Zeref, and now END is finally here. We got, you know, the revelation of Layla and uh, Anna Hartphilia and Zeref told Natsu that he's his brother. So I feel like all the major, like, secrets and revelations um, have kind of finally been, like, rolling out in this arc. So, like, what really is there left to do? Um, after this, um, I kind of had the same question of like prison school with the manga and prison school because like, um, I don't know where prison school could possibly go or do for next arc, but you know, then again, I'm not a writer, so they obviously, you know, they're geniuses. They could obviously pull something out of nowhere and make a plot line like that. So I don't know. I kind of have that same question with fairy tale, like where can he go from here? Because, um, to me, it really looks like this whole Zeref Acnologia versus END thing could be resolved in this arc. And if it does get resolved this arc, you know, what else is there to do? Um, which I don't know, I think it's an interesting thing to kind of talk about. Um, it's kind of concerning because, you know, I don't know, I don't want this series to end, you know what I mean? But um, or at least I want it to have a good ending, you know, I don't want it to be rushed or anything like that. Um, and I don't want it to keep going on just for the sake of it going on. You know, if Mashima uh, has his story and he finishes it and he feels like, you know, that's, you know, that's his story. He actually gets the opportunity to finish what he wanted. Then, you know, I think that's that's good and he shouldn't continue after that just for the sake of it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It definitely feels like we are close to the end. Um, but, yeah. Um, fucking, I'm definitely surprised that, um, Demaria did not, like, get fucking destroyed, like, she was destroyed, but, like, I was expecting fucking her head to be, like, decapitated off or something gruesome like that, um, for sure, um, and, like, even though, like, like, I've, I've already said it, that she's, like, she kind of has, like, a couple screws loose, um, from these past couple of chapters now it looks like she's even more broken just by like the horror that she just saw so she's like even more crazy it looks like she's like she was fucking talking to her to herself and she's like monsters stuff like that so and to me that was probably like the most insane moment of, of this chapter just seeing her on the fucking wall like like armor all fucking destroyed all bleeding and um mumbling to herself like that was fucking pretty crazy um and then fucking uh, mashima with that fucking fake out man like i really thought that he went through and took out lucy's eyes but it's like i should fucking know better like mashima would never fucking do that um so it's kind of my fault for getting tricked on that but i was just like in the heat of the heat of the moment i guess but yeah that was pretty funny um but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. Um, I guess we're having Gray versus E N D next chapter, which is gonna be crazy. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys for the next chapter. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more fairy tale videos, and I will see you guys for next chapter. I feel like Mashima is really on a roll right now. He's really got something good going on right now. So let's hope that his writing from the last couple of chapters kind of continues on like this because it has been pretty pretty good and enjoyable like i feel like i've been getting back into this arc like in terms of excitement i'm like actually excited to read fairy tale again which is a great thing so in that aspect mashimo you're doing a good job